welcome back. Um, this is the penultimate video on the uh, Le Chatelier's principle video series, and we're going to be looking at the effect of pressure. Okay, now I don't know if I want to go through both ends of uh, pressure. I'm going to only go through either increase or decrease, and the opposite is true. Okay, so let's go through it. I got the same equation, and I got the KC expression written over here. Now, I, let me put the tip so I don't run over it. Let's say I increase pressure. Think about this way, right? Here is the container, right? Now, this is something very important from a very, very, uh, you know, chemical foundational principle. Let's say we have a piston, okay? So this piston's movable, okay? I forgive my terrible drawing. Say we got three different molecules. I'm going to call this my N2, maybe an open one, my hydrogen, and maybe two open one. None of these that doesn't have to exactly depict what this is. So this is N2, and this is H2, this is NH3. Okay, these are all in here. If I put more pressure, okay, that means the cylinder is now here. Imagine these molecules are now crunched. Okay, this is essentially the basis of a collusion theory. Okay, when molecules are really close together, they have a higher reason to interact among themselves, producing, say if I have only N2 and H2, the more chances they can collide with each other, there's a higher chance they produce products. The further apart they are, the less chances they're going to collide with each other, and the less efficient less inefficient they will be making products so more efficient collisions okay more efficient collision okay meaning more products okay. that's the ultimate goal of any chemical reaction is you produce more products the less and less product you produce well there's something wrong with your with your method of however you're doing. So when we increase pressure, okay, generally for a for a reaction like this that is at equilibrium, this system is already at equilibrium, right? As you see, when you see the double-headed arrow or this, that means the system is already at equilibrium. Okay. Now, which side has more total number of gas molecules? This side, we have a total of four. This side, we have a total of two, okay? So when a system like this is at equilibrium, okay? When you increase pressure, I'm gonna call this P is pressure, okay? the system would go to the side with less number of gas molecules because what this is is this is a perfectly tug of war before you increase or decrease pressure okay no one's winning no one's losing okay both sides are so perfect that that there seems to be no problem okay but again i can use the tug of war for the increase in pressure you can come up with your own example on how you do this affect the person all right maybe one of them start to have a knee problem or something like that, right? Increasing, think of that as a pressure. So generally, um, the system, say if, the, if two people in a tug of war in one side start to have knee problems, then they're getting some kind of pain in their legs. So obviously their team would begin to lose because the other team can sense that they're losing pressure on one side, right? So if you increase pressure, you will go to the side with less number of gas molecules because these would react more efficiently because they are much more. And you know, that should be the case because otherwise the piston would explode. If, if these remain four and they don't react efficiently, then there's gonna be a huge pressure buildup and the system would blow up. Okay, so the point of matter here is when you increase pressure, and the system would go to the side to produce more of whatever is less to start with. So you, if this is the case, then you'll have more NH3 and less N2 and H2 when equilibrium is 
reestablish. This is the final outcome. So what if we decrease the pressure? Well, what's the opposite of it? Then you'll have more N2 and H2. System would go to the side with more gas molecules because you know things are just quite going to be quite far apart and this is not the situation we want but that's what will happen and we have less uh, NH3 than equilibrium is established. Now I would like to take the time to go about go around volume but you know what that's that's a little bit uh, overwhelming and without properly explaining if I give you some tips I'm going to be essentially falling into the traps of misconceptions that I chose not to present to students when I did my doctoral work. So I'm going to restrain myself from actually teaching the topic because, you know, um, practically, I don't know if, if someone will test you that on a standardized exam. If they do, well, you can skip that question. All right, how are you can guess? Okay, so. Um, that's the effect of pressure and whatever I had described visually here, I've also explained it as a system. So this should be pretty good for most cases. All right, so since the catalyst is really not much, I'm just gonna go ahead and explain this. Now, what is a catalyst? Let's define what a catalyst is that'll explain what the problem is. Catalyst is generally um, a catalyst increases the rate of the forward reactions, increases the rate of uh, forward reaction. Okay. Okay. Just think of it this way. So if a reaction is going slightly slower, it, the purpose of a catalyst is increase the rate of the forward reaction generally. Okay, in this case, this is a forward reaction. Okay, now, what the misconception is, they say adding any kind of catalyst will have, generally speaking, adding a solid or liquid catalyst will have no effect. Okay? Will have no effect. That means you don't produce more of anything. Okay? Because if you see all of this is gas. All our species are gas, so adding a solid or liquid catalyst will have no effect. But adding a gas catalyst okay, will have some effect. We don't know how much unless we actually conduct an experiment. It will have some effect. But if you read most textbooks, some or could be a large effect. We don't know that. But what textbooks say is that adding a catalyst will have no effect even for a gas catalyst that's a misconception because when you add a gas catalyst it's going to change the overall volume of the system that means you will not have the same consequence as adding a solid or liquid catalyst but if you see this on a standardized exam it's probably written by somebody who falls into the trap of reading that same book that you read and read the same wrong information. So that means, all right, I'm gonna say this here, which is bad, okay? For a standardized exam, okay? Okay, for a standardized exam, do the wrong thing because that's what they want you to do. But for my class, you will learn it right. Adding a solid or liquid catalyst will have no effect on equilibrium, okay? On equilibrium change. Adding a gas, gas catalyst will have some or large effect on equilibrium change, okay? From a standardized exam perspective, you will say no effect. Because those people just want you to say the wrong thing to get credit because that's not how the chemistry really works. Okay? You're adding it, that's why I skipped the effect of volume. There's a reason behind that, okay? The, there was a conscious decision not to do it. And like I said, I, this is totally wrong to say it this way, but that's what they want you to say. So tell them what they want to hear, okay? If you want to 
get that question right. For a standardized exam, say something that may, that's not totally correct. But for my class exam, you will say this. So I can even say that on the exam for my class on the question, if that makes any sense. Okay, but for a standardized exam, you will say catalyst has no effect. Okay, I'm gonna say catalyst has no effect. All right, well, that's all I wanna say on chemical equilibrium part two. And I think I've said everything fairly uh, succinctly. So um, the next topic we're gonna to talk about is kinetics and again, in lieu of the time that we have left and to make sure that you we get through the basic standards of higher education on this topic i will cover the major points but i won't go into all of the inner details all right so stay tuned